Well, hello, this is Dimitrism Jim on another channel, and this is the second part in the tutorial of basic wire tutorials. And today we will going to do a wired door. So, we will first make the simplest version of the wired door. We'll spawn this door thing. We want to have as a prop for the door. You can choose any prop. So, we want to cover this entry here, because this will be our... We want to close this, because we want to make a base or something in it. So, now we have this door here, and now we are going to make it work with my wire mod. So, let's spawn another prop. It doesn't have to be this prop, um, just any straight prop you can put beside this quite close not really close but quite close you want to leave a little gap like that now we go into wires tab and among all these tools we will scroll down under wire physics and here we can find hydraulic and now this in out speed doesn't matter in this case uh, for how we will use it so it doesn't matter because we will set the length of it so it will be super fast however we do it and um, but we want to check fixed we want it fixed for this wire door and uh, well that's basically that now you take yourself um, by no clipping and holding control then you can move quite much slower and you when you are between these gaps you right click with this tool like that just right click and now we want to put the controller somewhere and then we want to left click so now we have a right clicked hydraulic there and a controller here so let's see if it slide if it's possible to slide yes then we will go into wire we are already in wire wire 1 slash 0 here we find button and we want to spawn a button and we want to enable we want to toggle value on should be 100 type in 100 value off should be 0 and now we will put this button here like that and now we want to take advanced wire tool, or wire advanced and you find this menu here, you can scroll it, but we want to put length, left click on length and left click on this button and now as this value is off, you can see this was drawn a bit closer and now we can just left click, uh, not left click, and uh, now we can just press E and it opens. You can press again and it close. And if we typed in the wrong value, maybe it's too. Uh, I, I wanted to open a bit more. We just type in 150 on this button and it will open a bit more, like that. It's that simple. And of course, we can uncheck toggle. We uncheck toggle and spawn a new button with the same value. And we go to the other side. And we put another button here with the same value. And now, we want to go into gates. We want to go into 
uh, Artemic gates here and we want to choose the second gate, add gate and we go outside and just spawn it here so now we will basically make um, it possible for us to open the door in the both ways so we left click on length to the add gate and then we left click on A to one of the button and B to another button you can connect as many buttons as you like or as many slots we have for them so note if you just press once it will close like this that's not very practical you can use this you just hold E and I can go around here do something else and I'm holding E holding 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 and now I'm releasing so you can hold the button anyways so it just me press E holding holding walking inside releasing and we can do the same th thing for getting out of here I mean with the last door we couldn't get out ah uh, so hold E go out release but if you grasp how to make this we can make it a bit more advanced so we go into regular tools and just choose the remover remove these buttons and then we go into buttons uh, oh don't be confused we won't first go into wire it's important and then we scroll up to wire 1 slash 0 buttons then we put a button we want it to toggle and the same values before 150 like this and then we go inside and in the front of all these numbers we put a minus sign so minus or negative 150 like that and we want to length to the this add gate it was already connected so whatever and a to this new button and B to this new button and now we need to can activate it like that and we can go inside and close it and then we can stay here for a while and we just activate this and it gets zero therefore this gets well the total get 150 it's 150 plus negative 150 so when we want to close this just activate this open get inside close open so that's another way and you might want to make a door that opens automatically when you come near it or when any NPC comes near it so that's not very hard to make so we will do that now if you feel um, you grasp the tutorial so far otherwise you can just uh, try build on your own as long as you understand check back on the tutorial again and uh, eventually you will get it just remove this we keep the hydraulic controller and everything <clears throat> and now we go into wire in wire we want to find target finder and now we will choose 
what will we let through this gate? And, hmm... I want to let through me, uh, NPCs, and uh, vehicles. I do not want... Uh, I do not want it to paint the target. It looks ugly. Uh, it's easier to see if you're in range when you paint the target, but uh, we just disabled that. So, minimum range. We just put zero here. Maximum range. It should be sufficient with 300. So, we type that in. Zero, 300 on maximum. And well, you see my settings here. Target players, target NPCs, target vehicles. That's what I want. So choose that. And we left click to spawn this. And to get this uh, to work properly, we must go into wire gates again. So, um, where are you? There. And Artemic gates, those you mostly use. And we want to choose multiply down here, multiply. And we want to spawn the little multiply gate. After that, we will scroll down to 1 slash 0, find constant value and now we want a number. We want 150. You may guess why we, were, why we wanted exactly 150. And well, that's because that's how much we will want to open the gate. <coughs> As you probably know, the laws of multiplication says that if you multiply anything by zero, it, uh, the answer will be zero. A, we want to connect to the target finder by left clicking and left clicking the target finder. And now we must left click again to choose that one. And now we want to connect B to this wire value. And after that, left click length on multiply gate. And it's like magic. Very nice. And let's try out with a vehicle. I don't know if you fit here. I think we fit here. I seem to remember that. Yes, it works anyways. And it closes. Isn't that nice? So, let's, just to show you, try it out on NPCs. Get here, Doctor. Haha. -ha. Get inside, the Doctor. And get further away. So, well, that's basically it. So, now you know how to make a simple wire gate. And, actually, when you have made all these types, it's not very... Uh, it's not super simple. If you don't want to use uh, E2 for making a door, this is the most professional way to make it. So, you're getting into wire mode. Well, thanks for watching, and if you like this tutorial, well, then like the video, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. Well, thanks again. We'll be seeing each other soon.